in this video we are going to create this menu so this is from my different menus collection in this video we are just going to focus on this menu you see and if you want to get a template there's a paid template on my website and there are lots of them so it's not just this template there's also uh, this one also it's included all together it's in my collection so many different types of menu you could see cool stuff like this animated stuff this menu and then there is also more uh there are three more extra stuff but that you could check on my website but in this video we are going to learn how to do this and again if you do not want to start from scratch you could get it for the paid template on my website the link would be in description so first i'm just going to create it on this uh, website that i have and then i'll show you how to move it to an actual page probably you'll be using it in headers and footer page builder which comes with your elementor pro or if you do not have pro you would be using the free plugin ad headers and footers for elementor something like that and obviously if you want to buy elementor pro the link is in description and if you use that link you could support me so first thing first we need to actually create a container like this instead of this we will actually create a second container this would be where are all these menus would be and i'm not going to make it look pretty in this video because i just want to show you how to do it quicker rather than just uh, wasting too much time on making it looking prettier Okay, so this first container, I'll just make it go from left to right like this. And inside of this, I will add two containers. Okay, so let's add one. So let's just call it as like main menu or something. And then we can just call this as left. And then let's just duplicate and call this as right, something like this. I'm just going to make this one be around uh, 95 VH so that it's this much height. And again, it does not really matter what size you use in this one because this would be controlled on where you have uh, used your uh, where you actually use this menu and i'll explain it later okay so don't worry uh, i'm going to give it a color of yellow something like this give it a border of i guess 10 and then we have in the left section i'll just make it i guess 35 and then this one would be like 65 so just style it however you want it's not much complicated then I'll just give it a heading and call it, I guess, home, like this home. And then maybe let's just use the same color so that it looks nicer. Okay. This text, I'll make it black, make it bigger. Again, I'm not going to style it much. Give okay. In this left one, I'll give some padding like uh, 150, maybe left 50 and i think that's enough like 20 on the right or something like this this one we need to give it a css class of i don't remember so i'm just going to keep going into my like this template that i've made uh, we are going to give it as dm menu list 3 the code would be in description for free and in that page uh, you would also find all the css classes that i've used so dm menu list 3 click on home make sure it's in p because obviously we do not want it to be what you call we do not want it to be like h1 h2 because that's not good for it for our seo and obviously if you want you could make this main menu be uh what you call nav like this select to nav because navigation or actually you should actually just make it be your header so right now if i let's say this was my header let's say if this was my header and then this this was like around here so i would have just made this one as like html tag as nav so that google knows or any other search algorithm knows that it's, it's your navigation so let's just keep it like this for now it's not complicated for time being we have to give it as dm menu list uh, three which i totally forgot to copy there we go okay so dm menu list three Let's duplicate it few more times so let's do four and we can name it whatever we want so about contact maybe a portfolio or something okay so i actually have a button called contact in here so let's add a button let's call it i guess contact again i'll call this as uh i guess list why not i just want to like quickly do it <laughs> to show you the main functionality let's do typography i'll just keep it like this I, I want to show you guys okay that it doesn't really matter what you use like this 
Now in the right section, we will actually add one container like this. And I like to name it so I can just call it like home content, something like this. Because the first one should match the first header, uh, first contents, right? And here you could add anything that you want. So I'll call it like this is this is the home contents, something like this. If you want, you could make it be bigger to some specific height if you want. And rather than giving top around here, let's just do one thing. Let's just give it to the main menu so that we don't have to do it for both of this. So 120, maybe 20 right, 20 left, 20 bottom. Why not? Maybe let's do 150, something like this. So this is the first container that we have. And I can simply also copy some this stuff, whatever you want, and then just style it. Okay. Nothing complicated. Just style it however you want. You could add any image, anything that you want. It doesn't have to be it's the same stuff. Now the first one, we are actually going to uh, paste this text. DM menu content 3 space active. Now here's the difference. Okay. So when you open this menu, let's see if I open this menu, you can see this first stuff is showing. Now if you don't want this to show, you can actually just remove the active text like this. And then let's just give it DM menu 3. Let's duplicate it because we have four elements. Obviously, it looks weird, but it's going to be called like this is about, about contents. This is list contents and this is portfolio contents, something like this. Again, it's all styling. Now, if I do this, now let's just close everything like this okay i know the styling does not look good but it's literally just for this video purpose so that it does not get like way too long now i'm going to add another container inside of this one and this one would be my uh, what you call this video container so if i look if i show you guys i've given it as 500 pixels by 300 and then absolute positioning so if i let's say now just to show you see how it looks we can actually just disable it for time being like these three contents and then this one i can just make it i guess 500 by 300 and then you could simply just add a video uh, link around here i'll just add the same video link that i have inside of this one doesn't really have to be a video it can be anything like just a uh, map location or anything that you want i like to have a video so i'll keep it and then i'm going to give it position absolute right and bottom like this and then play around with it until it's good enough just make sure because when you do this when you use position absolute it does not take other elements in consideration so if you have like lots of element in here this might just go on top of it and then hide it in case of responsiveness so keep that in mind based on what height and size you use around here so now we got everything like this okay stuff like this so i'll just hide it uh, we can also name it like better like about content and all so when you do it for yourself just do it so a quick rundown what i've done we added main menu we added left and right container this is going from left to right like this and has padding of 150 in the left we have four headings and then a button in the right section we have multiple containers all of same size and one more container which has video but this has been given position absolute so that it does not take any space the final thing is we need to copy the code which i'll be giving in description uh, you just need to like add an html widget like this instead of this one at the end it should always be added at the end okay let me copy the code let's do it like this so it should always be added at the end like this and let's do publish Let's see what it looks like at least for now. Now you can see nothing's happening because we totally forgot to add this hamburger menu icon. So let's add an icon. I'm going to add it inside of this one. So icon like this. It is actually gotten below. So let's place it at top. Let me make this into a bar. You could add it anything. You could add button. If you could add lottery animation, you could add HTML widget that changes the 
uh, what you call design if you go to code pen you could actually find a nice hamburger menus that you could use for uh, what you call for free you basically would be just using like html widget and then copy pasting the code that they have given if you check in my full uh, the, in this template if you like check the full menu i have used that okay or if you check the full menu videos you will actually find that code so just look into my blog or subscribe to it to see when i upload it basically those are like better uh, what you call hamburger menus so we got this we simply need to give this class of dm menu icon 3 where is it okay dm menu icon 3 let's do preview how it looks obviously nothing's happening because i totally forgot to add the css class to our menu container okay so this is the menu container i've given it as dm menu container 3 this icon let's just make it black so here's the menu icon and you could say it kind of works but we do have some issue so let me quickly let's just see if all functionality works or not okay so if i click uh, if i hover on home it shows this about less portfolio we have contact rest of it is just styling if you think like oh why is it not looking like this it's just styling it just you just have to use elementor stuff to like style it as long as the function works it's perfect the icon we have to give like 99 something like this let's see and you could say it works if i click again it goes down but you could see nothing showing around here unless i hover around here so if i refresh now you could see nothing showing but if i hover somewhere it shows so which is why for the first home content we will give active like this and that would make it be uh, default visible so it's your choice whether you want it to be visible by default like this or not now here's the thing how does this work basically okay so if you check the code i have actually given it position absolute okay like this and which is same as going into here and then choosing position absolute just like we did here now what position absolute uses a quick explanation i guess in this page okay let me quickly show you guys so this is our container and if i let's say add a text and if i give it position absolute you could see that it does not go outside our elements like this okay position absolute if i do left zero and top zero it will be at the top zero if i do right it goes right bottom and then uh, left something like this okay obviously you could make it go outside like this but you know position absolute is is not very responsive so it's not always good to use but in this case it is only possible with position absolute right so if i let's say give this position absolute but if i move it outside my content like this and if we give this zero you could see because this container is this big it is going outside this one or this is this is the bounding box basically okay so you see wherever this blue color is that is the bounding box and it would not go outside it because zero and zero is like top so this is like how far it should be from the top left like this so if i move it inside this container it uses this top left because this is where the container starts right similarly what i have done is we have made this main menu have position absolute but this is the container size so you see if i click on it you see this pink border this is the container size so the main menu is being as big as that container so what we can simply do is if i add another container inside of this one and then move everything inside of this or doesn't even have to be everything just this much let's see You could see how big it is it is not being as uh, more big than that container size because position absolute is taking that much size so right now if i want to move it to my header 
So the way I've made this header is like this left container and then right container and pretty basic header, right? And it would be like very case by case based on how you have it. So the first thing what I want to do is I want to create another container inside of this one and then move everything inside of that. So move my left container inside of this and right container inside of that. Like this. Make it left to right to some settings that that needs to be done. Make this full width. So now I have this header which is full width and I have this container and this header has like 50 padding on the left and 50 padding on the right. So this container has like left 50 padding and left 50 padding. So now if I try to move my icon, I can move it into my right uh, container right because icon does not matter and again remember this is for non-sticky version so if you want your menu to be sticky just wait for a while i'll show you how to do it okay so right now you can see the menu is not sticky so this is for sticky menu okay next step is to take our main menu we don't need to do this container because we would we have already created right one extra container which is like this big just to visualize it we could do it like this and then paste that, that container which we just created inside of this one main menu like this looks weird don't worry we also did we added the code okay the code is in here okay so i'm just going to remove uh, copy this code and then remove it so that it is like much more nicely organized and then paste it outside this one so it's like nicely organized Let's see if I do preview what it looks like. Okay, it's going outside this one. So let's make our menu have like a high Z index. And guess what? It just works nicely obviously do some left right padding it does don't make it like this big so if you check in this one it's not really this big so if i show you the original one you would say it's not this big i have given it like custom 70 percent all this stuff so rest is just styling but again this is not being visible like this uh what you call this icon so let's make it like even bigger like 9999 something like this Again, it's not being at top. So let's see why that's happening. So this one has been given. Let's give it like 999 and make sure our icon has more. So 9999. Okay. Now it should work. And obviously, if you want, you could just play around with the styling however you want. And you could see it works nicely like this. Obviously, it's not sticky, which is why it's not being at the this location so how to do it in a sticky way so when you're doing sticky let's say if i make my header have fixed position like this and obviously give it like nine 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 and you could see as soon as i do nine one more everything just pops up at the front even the logo this one and all of this because when you you because this is like the parent container right and everything is like child container so it doesn't really matter what you have used inside of this it just does not work i'm just going to delete everything okay so just to start from scratch so that my brain does not like stop working or something so this is the header and this has been given 999 and it is like sticky you see now because this if i add something like 999 around here it just does not work for rest of the elements so what we can simply do is we can just use like a different uh, different container basically so let's create a new container completely let me just place it around here or maybe let's place it below so that it's actually visible and not getting covered from this i'm going to do the same steps again what uh, the steps that i did before which is copy this one and paste it inside of this one right now so this is the icon uh, where is it okay it's on the right side now this icon i'm just going to go and type position fixed like this and make it be like on top and make it go on the right side like this 
because when you use position fix it does not matter where your or where the elements are where it is it just uses and sticks like this and it just uses like this whole canvas as a position so if i let's do 50 and then move it a bit below maybe 30 and basically in this one we can simply just give more padding to the right side uh, rather than giving this container again you do not need to use like an extra container like this if you are planning to do sticky from the front uh, from the start so there is no reason to use an extra container like this that's only re uh, required when you are using the different method okay so 35 something like this we have given padding and it's around here and it now looks perfect now we need to copy our main menu like this and I'm going to do is paste it in here. Let's see if that works. Let's do preview. And I know it's not going to look perfect. I just know it because we haven't added fix to it. But let's just see how it looks right now. You could see it is it is doing some stuff around here. It is getting covered behind. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into my code and I'm going to make the position be fixed around here like this. Or if you want, you could simply just remove this three stuff too. And then, uh, where is it? Go into a main menu and then use this, uh, this one too. So that you do like this. Make sure it's on the right side. And then how much it was? 50 and 35. So we need to make sure it's similar for time being. Like this. Let's do preview. Uh, another thing, we need to give this one like higher Z index. Our icon should be the highest one. So 9999. I will give this one as 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 9. We can just reduce it. So 9998. So that it is one less than our menu. If you have better method, you could completely use it. If you have pro version, I think you could simply just go and then choose uh, motion effects and do position sticky at top and it should work. You do not need to do these steps. I think so. And this is how it looks right now okay so a bit weird but again you need to play around with it until you find something that works so let me just refresh this page in my editor okay i refresh the page let's see if it works in the editor okay it does work so this would allow us to like style it better sometimes it does not work in editor and it can be kind of annoying so i'll do something like this now in this menu what i'm going to do is go into layout and right now it uses like full stuff like this okay and obviously you could reduce it but what i like to do is instead of doing stuff like this i'll do is type calculate 100 percent minus and let's and then we can it's, it's similarly adding like padding on the left side so if i want 50 pixels of padding on the left side i could do that 80 like that so every time we uh, change the size it would always have the same uh, difference around here you could see would always be 80 pixels so it just comes down to like how much you want to how much space you want like this so 40 and then it looks perfect let's just check in the preview okay and you could see this is how it looks and it's very much based on like how you want your like elements to look like it's way too big i do know that but if you check this one it looks perfect right it's not too big it's not too small that's like good enough padding around here good enough padding and it just comes down to styling it's just like way too empty looking right now and way too big and obviously uh, this top bar is covering a bit of it so check it in, in incognito so yeah that was all if you want the paid template which i have like made already you could check it out next video we are going to learn how to do this one this menu and it's pretty easy to do too so yeah Thanks for watching. Goodbye.